Amal Clooney rocks a gray overcoat as she and mother bury a ally mud and land in New Jersey after private jet flight. Before heading to her New York hotel. She's often seen jet setting around the world with her husband George Clooney. But Amal Clooney appeared to be charting her own course on Tuesday, when she was spotted landing at New Jersey's Teterboro Airport after a flight aboard a private jet. The 44-year-old human rights lawyer cut a casual yet chic figure in a long gray overcoat as she disembarked in the company of her mother Beria Alimuddin. Amal looked classy in the double-breasted overcoat, but she dressed it down by wearing a white t-shirt with text on the chest under it. She paired the casual item with a set of flared gray blue jeans with a noticeable sheen. Beria had on a loose-fitting black top and matching black pants but she added a splash of color with her lustrous magenta boots. She also carried a soft pink coat with dangling tassels over her arm as she and her daughter deplaned. Later in the evening, Amal appeared to be in a great mood as she was spotted arriving at her hotel in New York City, though it wasn't clear if her mother was joining her. The British-Lebanese barrister stayed casual with white sneakers, and she added a splash of color to her otherwise muted look with her bright red nails. She completed her ensemble with a large black leather bag with metal studs on the seams, and she wore her long dark dresses parted down the middle in thick waves that framed her modestly made-up face and her chunky black sunglasses. Despite the interest in her high-profile marriage to George Clooney, Amal tends to be fairly private when it comes to their relationship, but she departed from her norm last month in an interview with Time. She gushed about her connection to the Oscar winner and raising their four-year-old twins Alexander and Ella. Marriage has been wonderful. I have in my husband a partner who is incredibly inspirational and supportive, and we have a home filled with love and laughter, she said. It is a joy beyond anything I could ever have imagined. I feel so lucky to have found a great love in my life, and to be a mother, this is how I get my balance. The world-famous lawyer also opened up about what drove her to focus on human rights cases. I'm responding to what I see happening in the world. A world where the guilty are free, and the innocent are imprisoned, where the human rights abusers are free, and those who report on the abuses are locked up, she said. As a lawyer, I can do something about that. Or I can at least try. So my work is focused on trying to help liberate victims and prosecute perpetrators and by extension, our foundation's work is trying to really do that at scale and globally.
guilty happening in the world. A world where the guilty are free, and the innocent are imprisoned, where the human rights abusers are free, and those who report on the abuses are locked up, she said. As a lawyer, I can do something about that. Or I can at least try. So my work is focused on trying to help liberate victims and prosecute perpetrators, and by extension, our foundation's work is trying to really do that at scale and globally.